So let me demonstrate what infinite scroll does exactly. We are here now in one of my articles about American Airlines. And now this article uh, is pretty long, but as we scroll down here, this is actually already the end of that post. But what happens now with infinite scroll is that instead of hitting the end of the post, we will get directly into the next post here. You can see the post ending with that here. And as I implemented infinite scroll here, immediately the next post here is going to open up. And that's what we want when we have infinite scroll on our websites. Because that gives the user a special user experience and he's maybe likely, he's likely to consume more of our content, which is ultimately what we want, right? So after the first post, what we have here is yet another post. And after that one, you will see that we have yet another one. And um, the way it is implemented here on this website, you can define like you want to have like five articles in total. And you can also decide on the categories that are displayed. So you can say you want to display a total of five posts and all of them need to be from the same category. However, you can also say that you want infinite posts because that's what ultimately infinite scroll will be, but you can also limit that to a more reasonable amount. Now, how can you actually implement infinite scroll when using uh, a WordPress website? There are many ways you can implement it. And one way to do it is uh, using plugins. We are now in my WordPress dashboard here. I'm just going, I'm switching over to plugins, um, add new. And there you can actually just browse for something like infinite scroll. And you will see that you can find a couple of infinite scroll plugins. Um, to be honest, I tried most of them and I couldn't even get them to work. So it's not easy to actually install them. If you are a regular WordPress user, you know that most of the plugins, when you install them, uh, they just work right out of the box. Maybe a setting or two, but with infinite scroll, that's a bit more difficult. And um, the best one of these that I would probably recommend uh, trying to use is WordPress Infinite Scroll Ajax Low More. I know that some people have good results with that one, but um, I think they also have a premium version and um, it's, not, it's not easy to get it working right. So what I did on Carry On Baggage on, on this domain is I actually used a theme that has this Infinite Scroll uh, function already built in and that's by far the best method I found um, to use infinite scroll on my website and um, that theme you can check it out is called Bimber uh, you can easily find that theme um, just searching for it on Google let us just have a look here um, Bimber WordPress theme and you will see that you can buy that here on theme forest it costs um, 60 dollars uh it's not the fastest theme out there that's for sure but it has a lot of functionality and the implementation of the infinite scroll is amazing and it works right out of the box you can install that theme and believe me uh five minutes later you will have infinite scroll um working perfectly on your website um, as far as the options go um, for infinite scroll um, on Bimber, as I said before, uh, you can define how many articles should pop up. Um, and also you can say from which category. So maybe you have five categories and for each of these categories, you would like another 10 posts to show after people read the first article. So you can easily define that and that's going to work um, right out of the box, which is uh, which is really cool.
Another thing that Bimber does really well when it comes to infinite scroll is actually um, that it's very SEO friendly. And this is a very important aspect. Let me just demonstrate that for you. We are now back in one of my posts, American Airlines uh, article here again. And now as far as SEO goes, what is important um, for infinite scroll is that once the article changes, you need to make sure that also the URL is changing. That's very important. So the URL here, um, once we get to another article, that URL should switch automatically to the new URL because it's, it's nothing else than a new article. So people should also see the new address, right? Because if not, things get, get confusing and that can cause some serious SEO problems for you if that's not going to work. So have a close look at, at, the, at the domain name here, uh, at the URL when I actually scroll down and let's see what happens. We are still on American Airlines now. So it's still showing the same. That's all good. Yeah, that's a long post. Related questions. We almost approach the end here. Still, okay, that's the end here now of the post. And here the new post will come uh, onto the screen. And now what, watch what happens here with the URL. You see now the URL switched over to Wizz Air. So that's exactly what we want. And Bimber gets that done very well. But some other plugins from WordPress, they, they won't do that. Or you need to do some coding by yourself. And it's going to be difficult if you're not like a, a coder, if you don't code yourself uh, you have you need someone that will do that and that's going to be difficult for you to do so so the easiest and best way in my opinion is to get bimber get the bimber theme if you are crazy about infinite scroll and want to give it a go then go and download that bimber theme and you will have the setup done in maybe five or ten minutes it's really easy to set up if you do have any questions about the setup on Bimber, um, just let me know in the comments and I will be happy to uh, give you a helping hand and answer some questions as good as I can. Thank you very much for your attention, guys. And if you did enjoy the video, it would be cool if you could subscribe to my channel. And in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great one, guys. Bye.